Hi friends, welcome to our channel. I am Sripad Naik and you are watching Electrical Academy. Today we are going to discuss why starter is necessary for three phase induction motor. So see here, in the last lectures we have already studied the equivalent circuit of three phase induction motor which is just similar to that of transformer. Because induction motor is also called as a rotating transformer. Okay. So equivalent circuit of three phase induction motor is like that of transformer. So consider the equivalent circuit of three phase induction motor for understanding the concept why starter is necessary for three phase induction motor. So consider the equivalent circuit of induction motor at any slippage and only one phase winding is considered here for simplicity. We know that induction motor is rotating transformer and equivalent circuit is as like this R1, X1, shunt branch parameters R0 and X0. R2, X2 and electrical equivalent of mechanical load, electrical equivalent of mechanical load. So R1, X1, R0, X0, current I0 flowing through the shunt branch, IW, IMU, R2, X2, this current is I2 this current is I1. Why this current is I2? Because this is stator side and this is rotor side. Both the sides are considered here. I have considered a common in one circuit and this is the load RL which is equals to R2 in bracket 1 by S minus 1. Okay. And applied voltage is V1. Applied voltage is V1. Now see here when the motor is at starting instant means at a starting condition of motor the speed of motor is 0 and hence slip S is 1 because at starting means when the induction motor we start then at that time speed is 0 n equal to 0 at starting this n is rotor speed n n equal to 0 at starting and therefore slip S that is equal to ns minus n divided by ns. So ns minus 0 divided by ns means 1. So there is slip is 1 at starting when speed of rotor n is equal to 0. So put s equal to 1 in the electrical equivalent of mechanical load RL. So put here s is equal to 1. So put s equal to 1 in electrical equivalent of mechanical load RL. So RL equal to R2 in bracket 1 by 1 minus 1. So that is equals to RL equal to 0 ohm. So it shows that when the motor is at starting instant, its mechanical load is 0 and then rotor is acting as a short circuit. So this resistance is 0. Okay. It means the rotor is acting as a short circuit at the starting instant of three phase induction motor because rotor resistance R2 at starting that is equals to zero means RL equal to zero okay R2 is not equal to zero it is constant always but load resistance RL equal to zero means for the starting condition of three phase induction motor this rotor is short circuited as the load is zero and very large current is flowing through the rotor and as the induction motor is acting as a rotating transformer according to transformation ratio n1 i2 dash that is equals to n2 i2 means n1 i1 equal to n2 i2 but if we shift this i0 branch to left side and then r1 x1 r2 x2 we combine it together then we can get that n1 i2 dash is equal to n2 i2 and what is the current i2 dash i2 dash is the reflected current of secondary winding means rotor winding in the primary so when rotor current i2 is of very high value at the starting instant because at the starting in instant this load 
this load is zero and so the rotor is acting as a short circuit and due to short circuit the current I2 which is flowing through the rotor is of very very high value at the starting. So reflected current in stator that is I2 dash must be increased to balance these ampere turns N1 I2 dash is equal to N2 I2 because see here what about N1 and N2? N1 is stator turns per phase and N2 is rotor turns per phase and N1 and N2 are always constant they cannot be vary but I2 is of varying nature because at the short circuit instant the value of I2 is very very large and when the load is connected here value of I2 reduces. So I2 is variable so this I2 dash must be variable to balance these ampere turns. So due to very high value of current in the rotor while starting stator current is also of very very large value and if there is a very large value of current while starting it causes the voltage drop in the stator impedance and this voltage drop is of very high value uh, due to very high value of current and therefore the higher value of current which is flowing through the stator and rotor circuit so equivalent voltage is reduces this voltage is reduces due to drop in the impedances okay and due to very large value of current this impedance drop is also of very large magnitude and due to that large impedance drop this equivalent voltage gets reduces means therefore equivalent voltage uh, means total voltage gets dim and due to dimming of voltage for that instant means at starting instant operation of other equipments connected on the same line is affected considerably for example Momentarily dimming of lamp and tube lights in homes at the instant of refrigeration motor that is when the compressor is start. See here in your home when uh, when the compressor motor compressor is start in the refrigerator there is a slight fluctuation in the tube lights as well as in fans by dimming of voltage but you can't see that fluctuation because this fluctuation is of very very uh, for very very small time you cannot observe it but at that instant when the compressor in your refrigerator is start so at that time there is slight fluctuation because due to dimming of voltage so at the same time due to dimming of voltages uh, due to that compressor other equipments may have to be affected but compressor when the compressor starts we cannot observe that uh, slight fluctuations which are occurring on the tube light due to compressor is of very very for a short rating but in three phase induction motor case if the equivalent voltage this equivalent voltage gets dim then this affects the equipments which are connected on the same line due to fluctuation so to limit that very high currents in the short circuit condition means at the starting condition starters are used for induction motors and generally the starting current when the rotor is short circuited means at the starting instant the starting current of induction motor is generally 5 to 7 times that of full load current at the starting instant if the full supply voltage is applied to it means if you are applying the full supply voltage here to stator the starting current of induction motor is generally 5 to 7 times that of full load current so to reduce this very high value of starting current you have to connect the very high volt uh, very small voltages in the stator uh, at the starting so when we apply a very small voltages means of very uh, small magnitude of voltage to their starting terminals start uh, means to the terminals of stator uh, at starting then at that time your starting current may reduces so with the reduction in voltage applied to the stator of induction motor the short circuit current will reduce in the same proportion so Starters is used in the three phase induction motor for reducing the voltages at the starting instant for reducing the starting currents which are of very very high magnitude if the starters are not connected there. So there are various types of starter first is direct online starter dual starter 
in dual starter full supply voltage we ha we have to apply there but uh, due to full supply voltage starting current is of also of very very large magnitude but this dual starter compromises for size means for very small size of induction motor this dual starter is preferred uh, we will see this starter in details in the next episode second is stator resistance starter in stator resistance starter resistance is connected in series with the stator for reducing the voltage at the time of starting and due to reduction in voltage starting current also reduces third is auto transformer starter in auto transformer starter is also used for voltage reduction purpose at the starting fourth is star delta starter in star delta starter stator is first connected in star to reduce the starting current and once the motor attains its speed motor attains its required speed then delta starter means one switch is there this switch moves the star connection to the delta connection then first star uh, means stator is connected in star while starting and once the motor achieves the speed then it connects in delta automatically and fifth is rotor resistance starter in rotor resistance starter the resistance is connected to the rotor side resistance is connected to rotor side for reducing the current means a short circuit current on the rotor and if the short circuit current in the rotor reduces the stator current also gets reduced to balance the ampere turns n1 i2 dash is equals to n2 i2 which i have explained in the previous section so these five types of starters are used for three phase induction motor this direct online starter is preferred for squirrel cage as well as slippering type of induction motor stator resistance starter we can prefer it for both the uh, means uh, for slippering as well as squirrel cage motors but generally it is used for only squirrel cage type of induction motor third is of auto transformer starter this starter also used for both fourth is star delta starter this starter is also used for both uh, means for slippering as well as squirrel cage type of induction motor and fifth is rotor resistance starter this starter is only used for slippering type of induction motor as squirrel cage induction motor is not have provision to connect the resistances in the rotor side because uh, rotor resistances are always constant in the squirrel cage type of induction motor and in slippering type of induction motor we can vary the rotor resistances by connecting the rotor resistances externally okay so there are these five types of starter we are going to study that five starters in details in the next episodes okay thank you